Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to share with you guys this ancient Indian high growth secret for faster and thicker high growth. Now, this was given to me by my amazing Indian friend. She was kind enough to share with me guys this recipe to allow me to video her hair for you guys and also to allow me to share today's recipe with you guys so you can also grow your hair longer, you can grow your hair thicker. Now, let's take a little moment just to appreciate this girl's hair like her hair is beautiful she's got so much hair it is so long it is thick it is healthy and she gave me so many recipes and this is just one of them that I'm sharing with you so you want to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you don't be sad on any useful information so she told me to get some curry leaves now the one that I'm using here I got it from my regular Indian store I'm pretty sure you can find it in most Asian stores. Now if you do not have fresh curry leaves just like I have here it's fine to use the dry um, curry leaves but she recommended using the fresh one because it's still got most of its nutrients in it. Now curry leaves are very very high in antioxidants which help to moisturize the scalp. It also helps to remove dead hair follicles. It also contains something called beta carotene and protein and these two are essential at preventing hair loss and also thinning hair. So very very good to have in your regimen. So I'm just plugging my leaves here because I'm not planning to use the whole thing. I'm just popping it in this little pot and then we're going to go ahead and use our next ingredient. Now our next ingredient guys will be some fennel seeds. Now I heard about fennel seeds before but I never really tried it on my hair and I didn't also know enough about it to use it but she swears by this and when I did my research on fennel seeds it is extremely amazing for hair growth because it contains an iron, copper, folate and niacin which helps to increase hair growth speed. So really really good to have in your regimen and I'm really looking forward to exploring different recipes on my hair including fennel seeds. Fennel seeds also help to reduce oxidative stress which can prevent your hair from growing and lead to problems like hair fall. So really, really good to have in your regimen as well. So I put that in there, added some water, popped this on the stove. I just wanna go ahead and boil this for about five to 10 minutes or until the curry leaf starts to darken a bit in color. So this is what it looks like after it's been boiling for a little while. I really love the color that this spray has. So I'm just gonna transfer this to this jar and also uh, pop in there some of the um, the uh, fennel seeds and curry leaves that are sitting at the bottom. I'm gonna let this infuse for another 24 hours. Now you can save this immediately if you want to. She suggests that you let it infuse for just a little bit longer so that the fennel seeds can release more of their nutrients. Now, for the purpose of this video, guys, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, let this infuse overnight. So I am going to sieve it straight away just to save myself some time. But I would suggest that you do infuse it for 24 hours. So for this, I'm using my regular sieve um, just to sieve it. But use anything that you normally have to sieve your DIYs. Okay guys, so here you have it. It's nice and ready. I'm just going to pop this in my spray bottle so that I can use it. Now, you can store this in your fridge for up to three weeks, even four weeks, depending on the temperature of your fridge. Now, I really love this spray. I love the color. The smell is not really off-putting at all. I really like it. And it's something that you can spray in your hair and leave it. Um, unlike other sprays that perhaps the smell is a bit too strong and you may have to wash it out. So, so this is pretty much it look at that goodness like I just love the color don't you I just think it looks really really good so stick with me guys in this next part of the video I'm going to share with you how to use it and also how she advised that I should or we should be using this so you want to make sure that you keep on watching so I'm starting here on pretty much dry hair and I parted my hair in sort of 
um, four sections just to work on it a bit quicker. So what you should just suggest that we do is that we spray this to our scalp. Um, and also to the rest of our hair. Massage that in nicely. Now, you can leave this for about two hours and go ahead and shampoo your hair if you want to, but I'm not going to shampoo my hair because it is not wash day for me. So I'm just using this here as a leave-in spray. Now, you can also do it just like I'm doing here or you can go ahead and wash it out. Now, I'm spraying it on my hair here. Notice I am not using any oil because I already have quite a bit of oil in my hair um, from another video that I did and also I just oiled my scalp recently and yeah I just don't want to um, pile too much oil on my hair so I'm just sort of re-wetting the hair just to get it nice and soft and when I tell you this spray gives you moisture like it gives you moisture is insane and I really really love it um, so after I finish doing that section guys, I'm just moving on to the next section and I'm just going to repeat until the rest of my hair is done. Now are you guys noticing, can you see that my greys are not dark sort of black anymore? It's kind of looking brown. So this is the henna kind of wearing off um, slowly on my hair. But I don't really mind this new colour that it's giving me. Obviously, um, it is quite different from my natural hair colour. And it really stands out. And sometimes it can look a bit weird uh, some days. But honestly, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to wait for this to completely um, wear off before I then decide to use anything else. Now, if you tried the henna video... Oh, no, sorry. If you tried the henna that I made in the video before this one and it's starting to have this effect on your hair guys you can just go ahead and apply indigo again to get it dark if you want to uh, but like i said i'm not going to um do that i just thought i mention it okay because it's clearly obvious that it's looking a bit different but that's basically just the henna wearing off my hair um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do this until the rest of my hair is done so apply to your scalp massage that in apply to the rest of your hair just to give the moisture and then twist and then move on. Now, some of you guys may be wondering how often you should be using this. I would say you can use it once a week, guys, um, if you are looking to shampoo your hair. Although, you should not be shampooing your hair every single week because that can be very, very drying um, for the hair. So, But you know your hair better than I do. So if you are going to shampoo your hair guys, once a week is good. But if you're not going to shampoo your hair, just like me in this video, um, then use it twice a week because moisture is key, okay? Moisture is everything if you are trying to grow longer and healthy hair. So at this point, I'm done, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and just style this for work the next day. I was really happy to just go to work with my hair like this because, trust me, it wasn't smelling bad at all. And it felt really, really moisturizing on the hair. And I just really, really loved it. So I'm just going to style my hair and basically that will be pretty much it for today's video. So just a little protective style just because it's a bit cold outside. Okay guys, while you're watching me style my hair for work the next day, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button. I will really, really appreciate it. Now, in case you're not subscribed and you're watching or maybe you're returning watching my videos and you're still not subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. You definitely want to make sure that you join this family. I share lots and lots of DIY recipes for high growth maintenance in general and there will be a lot more recipes coming very soon from my amazing friend with her beautiful hair. So you want to make sure that you are definitely subscribed so you don't miss out on that content. Also click the notification bell so you know next time I post a new video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!